Hi there. I am in my YouTube channel and I've actually um, got it in the old design, which I really like. But I'm going to be a mature and a grown up about this and uh, move along to the new design with a good attitude, I've decided. <laughs> and we're going to have to do it anyway. In fact, you can see right here on March 7th, everybody's going to be forced to be using the new design. So we're going to click here. And I've actually been in here earlier today, and I've changed my new design already for us. And how I did that was going along over here on the top of the wrapper that has all the information, there's an edit channel button. And you go in and you'll note there's a little tab that says appearance. Here you can switch back to the old channels design, but I'm not going to do that. The avatar is actually your photo, or it could be your brokerage logo. There's my photo. And I also added a different image that I thought matched this wrapper a little bit better. Plus, it's February, so I wanted a winter scene. You can also um, repeat that image if you'd like, ver vertically as well as horizontally, or a no repeat. You can also change the background color, and if you just want a background color for a nice clean look, you can do that as well. You can also enter a custom uh, color number there as well. And when you make your changes, just make sure you hit Done Editing to save those. Now we're going to go back into that edit channel again because there's something else I want to show you here. There's the info and settings where you tell them all about you and how great you are and how wonderful your channel is. And then there's a default tab and you can do a featured tab, a videos tab, and a feed tab. The feed tab, I'll show you, kind of gives you a chronological view of everything this person has been doing on his or her channel. The videos tab shows you the latest video activity and the featured tab gives you the ability to do this and notice that's the third little tab over here you have four little options of what you can do to configure your screen you can um, have everything you can have a network um, i actually always like to have a featured video from a playlist so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to choose the creator and i'm going to hit done editing because i want to make sure i save that and then once i go down and take a look there are my featured playlists. Now I could add to those. Notice the featured playlist. Go to the right. There's that wonderful little edit button again and that's where you'll make adjustments. You can add some playlists. You can delete some playlists. And once you get done with that, make sure you hit apply again to save all those um, changes you've made. You can also, if you don't like your featured video, you'll notice right above it in the right hand, here we go again, one of those little edit buttons. And they give you a little drop down bar and you could go and choose uh, what you want to do. I like the Mac and Me one and the Pillar to Post happens to be the latest in that series. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that the way it is. You can apply and there it is. It is that easy. Thanks for watching.